Hey guys, Brett Rasmussen here. Today I'd like to review details about the new specialized deep snow sleds that are on the market today. If you're new and or returning to the sport, these are things that you might not expect. One more thing, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. It really helps us out and we'll keep you notified of new videos. I want to cover three topics. These sleds are tippy. I want you to know what to expect and how to carve. These sleds are really tippy. They're designed that way. That's why we like them. It, it promotes agility. It gives you the it gives the rider ability to navigate the backcountry uh, with ease. But the problem, if you don't have and understand the technique, um, they'll tip over. You'll be laying on your side, and you'll have a really bad day. Part of this comes from not understanding the balance point and how this sled is designed to be ridden. This new breed of snowmobile can be ridden two ways, with two skis down or on their edge for carving. And this is what we prefer when we're in the backcountry. You cannot just sit on the seat and drive them through the snow. You can get away with it a little bit at low speeds on the trail, but when you get off trail, uh, they'll because they're really tippy, you're gonna find yourself on the, uh, your side and most likely stuck. To manage these sleds with any kind of control at all, you must maintain a stand-up riding position. This is really the only way that you can manage the balance point of the sled. The key to carving and making turns is to have the sled up on its edge at its balance point. When you manage your snowmobile on its edge, technically you're on one ski and the edge of the track at the sled's balance point. Riding the sled in this manner gives the rider very positive control, as opposed to uh, riding two skis down where the sled uh, has a mind of its own and it generally will just follow the fall line of the slope. If you want to get the sled up on its edge to carve, uh, the easy way is to counter steer and let the sled tip over to its edge. Then catch the sled at its balance point with the steering. From this point, you lean to steer and steer to balance. It takes many years of practice to become an advanced rider. It's such a great fun sport. I would encourage you to uh, take some lessons either from a buddy or from a professional so that you have a great experience the first time you get out there. The challenge of riding backcountry snowmobiles will motivate you to get out and improve your skill set uh, and have even more fun. For more information about the clinics that we provide at Rider Asmussen Style, check our website, riderasmussenstyle.com. I'd love to have you join us on the mountain for an instructional riding clinic with one of our certified Rider Asmussen Style instructors. Thanks for watching. See you next time.